beginner's drum lesson of the, I don't know how many part series it'll be, but I know part one, two, and three were like a year and a half ago. So I kind of forgot. <laughs> I gotta, we're picking up, this is Bonzolium's beginner's drum lesson part four. Now in part three, we left off with beats. This is what I call beat one. Two. Beat three. Now here we are in part four. In part four, what we want to do is then just take those beats instead of learning more. Pl just play them. You want to sit and get comfortable playing the beat, okay? So beat one. At first, it's gonna be hard to kind of, the reason why you'll sort of stay for a while, I'm like, maybe like. Is because you're really not just comfortable with it. There's even a part of like, wow, I think I look stupid. A lot of people are like that. You just feel really self-conscious. You got to just sort of really relax. Eventually, the more you do it, what happens is the more you do it, you're, you're, you kind of wear down your self-consciousness, sort of. And then you're kind of like, and then after a while, you might be like, all right, well, I got to walk the dog later. And then you, you stop, you just start thinking about, and suddenly your body's like, oh, like this is how it goes. It's like eventually when you, like what? Let me think here. It's all right, buddy. What the hell's my bottle of water? Um, like anything you're for, like especially us older folk, you learn something on the computer. Somebody's like, hey, let's use Firefox instead of Safari. And you're like, ooh, Firefox, you know, like that. But you realize after a while, and I'm dead serious. You just sort of, once you get comfortable enough to kind of do it fluidly, it'll start to, even in your own brain, if you're not paying attention to sound more musical. So like, so if you're like this, put music to that even like a perfect guitar it's choppy but once after a while you sort of just start going without realizing it, you just might be more fluid and suddenly in your head you just might be like now even though that might be funny i know it's kind of i mean here i am a grown adult humming a song like that, but here's the deal. If in your mind, if while you're practice, practicing it, you can think of a melody, even if it's not something I just made up now, but even a song that exists, just think about it and let it run through your mind while you play it. Because that's when you're really lubricating all your stuff up there, in addition to just being coming, becoming just comfortable enough to play it. So, beat one eventually, remember, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And one, and so eventually you kind of just get, and you can do something like this, like a like a familiar song that sort of has a, a like a wave that it sounds. Now what I'm doing there though is just playing beat one under it, so it won't have with you being familiar with superstition or superstitious, it won't necessarily have the feel as I hum it. Because that's not necessarily what's played there. But you get the groove and it give, makes you just sort of like you can sort of sit. And sit. It's like riding a treadmill. Okay, like tr instead of turn on the digitally quantized, um, it's like a treadmill you hook up to your brain that might, the pace might change just a little bit if your body's adjusting to something else. Like let's say you're making the transition from burning some sugar in your stomach to fat and suddenly like halfway through in the treadmill, you know, you're like, oh God, like for a minute, it's like, oh, this is harder. Well, it's because your body's adjusting. What if you had a treadmill that could anticipate that? Well, just slow down. So that's what like drumming is to your own tempo. So to a metronome, practicing to a metronome or a click or a sequencer is like playing time on a treadmill. Let me put it this way. But if you're playing without one of those, it's like you're going for a good, healthy, perfectly steady walk, which if you put back in a treadmill, somebody might say, wow, for like 300 feet when you walked, you could have been on a treadmill. Your timing, you were just in such the mode, right? Well, that's what good time is, kind of. So you just practice time. So the beat one. 
remember, you, you'll get more comfortable with it, and then you, when you, with time, then without a click or something, think of a melody. You know, I want to get rid of that one because it's he doesn't really do that there. But we'll get something like. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna use um. There's a monkey song called She. Like she, she told me that she. I don't know who wrote it. I don't know if that's the monkeys or uh, Neil Diamond or something. Probably Neil Diamond because it's she. But anyway, so here we go. is you'll stumble upon some kind of a, 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 a progression there. If you want a little sort of like, if you're a paranoid person, you kind of want the music if somebody's following you. Or if you're a happy person. This has sort of a little 1970s Chicago urban flair. But listen underneath. It's really, it's like a treadmill, like those freaking videos I made about getting a drum set as an exercise machine. I'm 100% serious. Serious for like a half hour day. Come home from work, let's say the kids have grown up going to college. Do that for a half hour, beef it up. Wait a minute, we're still making uh, video number four. So what you want to do then is just go like you're on a treadmill, right? You got your own personal treadmill, but like this. Or whichever one you want. You'll like it just, it'll sound comfortable in your head, but that gives you the ability to like stop really thinking about things that might sort of mess with you, like twitch you. Where, where, you, where you sort of, you get into the zone. I guess that's actually when it's all boiled down. You, you naturally, no matter what you're ever doing, you get into a zone of some kind, right? So you get into a zone, but then of course, stumble upon, blah, 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 to a melody. Bah, 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 da, bah. Oh, here we go. Here's the, here's the paranoid one. Bah, da, 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 da. Oh, wait, here, a 1950s beat. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, wait, no, we can't do that. Because that'd be... Now listen to this. Imagine the 1950s. So here's the happy one. If you, when it comes to practicing this beat, to sort of get the point across what I'm talking about, of something to play to, to don, ba don, ba, a nice major thing. But then so. Oh, hang on. Da na 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 na. It's more conducive to. Or. Oh my God, there's combos. I beat one, beat two, beat three, and then I have other beats. We're gonna get to those. That's what I'm getting into. Pick a melody. Pick a melody. Pick a melody. And then you try it at different speeds, okay? But then what you want to do is you really want to try. If you can get a timer or something, it might help. Like, let's say you have one of those bots. Get one of those little bots you can talk. Alexa, start timer. I'm counting forward. So that way you want to know maybe right, for the next freaking three minutes, like you're on the treadmill or you're, you know, you're unloading the dryer, like, you'll be like, melody. Right, you'll just be like, find a melody or whatever. Alexa tells you to stop, you stop. And you say, all right, let me just try it slower, because I know when I get slower, it gets a little choppy. So think of a song that's a little more, I'd say a more sadder sounding song. So, here's happy, back like this. Because eventually you'll be like, hmm. 
You might think of a sad movie or something that that kind of reminds you of, but your body then sort of takes over. <laughs> Now, I know this sounds absolutely crazy, but the point I'm really trying to make here is that really does help. It sounds stupid, but eventually you get to the point once you really kind of feel like where you can sort of brainlessly do it, and you'll st and then well, you're not it won't stumble upon a melody. Just start thinking of a pre-planned one. Um, let's eat a sandwich. Yes, yes. Let's eat some mats. Matt's cookies are the best. Da, 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 I'm a cookies best. Bum, bum, put your brand here, your <laughs> whatever. I like Ludwig Drum. I think Houston's are cool. Ba, ba, ba. But what you'll do, but hear that. Da, 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 da. It's kind of an uplifting thing that's sort of going through your head. It's sort of like the soundtrack of your brain at that moment. I'm dead serious. Get to the next point, which is where when I say like the Siri or something, for real, I won't do it now because I don't want to add 10 minutes to the video, but really say to yourself, all right, I'm going to play that video with that silly thing going through my head or me singing it for 10 minutes because it's almost like you need to just do it. Remember, practice makes perfect, but it's like being, doing exercise for 10 minutes. Or George Brutus, he's really good. Here we go. George Brutus, he nails it. Yeah. George Brutus, really great. I gotta get control of my technique, my hand to hand stuff. Even 10% of see he does because he's so freaking good, man. He has like hands that I like really wish I had. I can play some of those rolls and stuff. But anyway, so, here is beat one. So I'll just, shit, I'll, just, I'll do it. I didn't mean to swear. I'll do it until the tape runs out, okay? I don't know how much more time there is. Here we go. Until the next Bosnolium video. We'll see you soon. That was uh, Bosnolium uh, beginning drum lesson uh, number four. Like in Groundhog Day. How come I couldn't have relived that moment with whatever? The good memory, like day after day. But really, think about something like that. If you just keep something positive in your head. I God, I know this sounds so like Tony Robbinsy. But it's golden information. Just think about the, like oh that girl I knew back, whatever, or that vacation went on as a kid, or you know, when I whatever. Won the lottery. And then just think of the happy ba 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 da 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 something happy. What was what I was singing? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh oh, the new Bonzoli panel in George Foodis. Ooh, announcing. It sort of has a little bit of a strike. A little. It's not really up tempo, but there's sort of a slightly play on top of the beat to it, like an announcement. And here, uh, everybody, announcing. George Flutus, Terry Keating, having a Led Zeppelin dedicated channel. God, I, I hope it works. You know what I think is going to happen? I seriously think I might have to lie. Take, I don't know, like drink some herbal tea maybe? Uh, I really get, I get like carried away when you talk about the bottom of Zeppelin. 
Anyway, I'll go back to it now. And the jam is coming. Well, I know that's only probably been like two minutes. So I'm just going to shut up and just play. I'm sorry, I should keep playing. When I start thinking about my left hand, the quality control, for whatever reason, it puts like a little torque on my tempo. It just starts to slow it down a little because I need to think about it a little. Automatically, I don't know why, it just happens. Which is, you know, smart. I have to divert the computer memory to this from the tempo control module. Here we are, happy. I got to with the left hand. Notice when Flutus plays, oh, his left hand just, all right, let's say this is his left hand. It's like here, and he's like, but it sounds like perfect every time. It's not slappy like this. Well, he can be, but but typically, the funny thing about Flutus is, is he plays, when he plays Bonham, oh my God, we're still making a video number four. When he plays Bonham, he still, even though he doesn't look like he has the same, the same totally relaxed feel that Bonham did, like Flutus still has sort of a, like a classic real jazz player sort of physical approach to it, but once he starts playing, it sounds exactly like Bonham. And technique-wise, even better, it, it might may or may not subjective have the Bonham beauty. Like the subjective thing, the the taste or the, you know, Van, some guy on the street isn't Van Gogh, right? But he might be able to make a picture that looks exactly like it. It's that kind of thing with flutists, man. Anyway, so back to time. And then you'll switch to the ride symbol. Just to keep your, uh, just to physically move the location of your right arm. Like that self, I don't have that self discipline often unless I think about it. I think it's back to the 